stick right in my wheelhouse. Let me spoil it for you at the very start and say, no, that is incorrect. I was wrong. Uh, but before we realized that, we were basically in too deep. It, we're, it's ours now. We're DIYing it. Um, but then we did one thing on our side, and that is our skills as developers and our ability to hack together small projects to try and make our lives easier. So in this short talk, I'm going to talk to you about those small projects through the journey of our short-lived careers as wedding planners. So we already had the reason to meet. We'd already sorted the venue and the date. So now it's time to send invites and get people uh, committing, I guess, to come along. Now, the first big difference we realized is that with a wedding, unlike tech events, there is a need to make every invite feel very special and personal. But at the same time, there is the same need to gather information in a useful and standardized way. Now, one quirk of our setup for our wedding day is that our ceremony venue that came first could only hold about a quarter of the people of our reception venue that came afterwards. So immediately, there was a variable, right, in our, let's call them ticket types, uh, one which invited people to the ceremony and ones which were only for the reception. Now, another variable we had is that not every guest was given a plus one to manage numbers for the ceremony and budget. So some people were given one, but that was kind of case by case. The final consideration about this kind of event, uh, which is somewhat unique from other events uh, that I've run, is that one often If that's continuing, I might just take the handheld. But it seems to have worked itself out. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Hello, hello. All right, and we're and we're back. So Unlike most other events that I've run, this type of event often has one person who acts as the coordinator for the group. So I wouldn't send an invite to my mum and a separate invite to my dad. I would send one to the two of them, and one of them is most likely to take the lead in accepting and coordinating on behalf of the whole group. So this is also something that's worth noting, but you still need an RSVP from each person. I still ultimately need one list full of names at the end of the day, and it's not a given that every person on an invite is going to be able to make it. So how do we make that happen? Um, I work for directors for my day job, so I can build my, I can plan my wedding on work time. But I used, uh, I used directors to set up a collection for people, uh, and each person item contained the following fields. That's there on the left. It invited a slug. Um, it, sorry, it invited um, the name of the person, the dietary and access requirements, the RSVP. Are they coming or not? Whether this person was a plus one. I'm very happy I added that because the, the guest list ended up with people. I'm like, who the hell is that? And it's because they were, they were a plus one. So I'm glad we in included that from the outset. And a wellness certification that we'll talk about later. Now, that's the people. Each invite had a slug, which was used in a custom invite URL, some custom text so we can make every invite personal, um, a link. To uh, a link to one or more people, a pair of booleans to denote whether or not this was a ceremony invite, whether or not they had a plus one, um, the lead contact phone number and email address, and a date field which we would fill when it's been used. So effectively, we wanted to know whether or not this invite has been answered. Um, so I wrote a one-off script to take this whole list of people, pop them here in the database. And then the other part of this invite system was a web application built with Express and Vue that used the Directus SDK to render invite pages and accept responses. Here's an invite of what an invite looked like, where it was just reception only, no plus one. And here is an example of a fully loaded invite. You come to the ceremony, you get a plus one, fantastic. Notice that the plus one gathers that new person's information as well. On submit, we update each person uh, with their requirements, whether or not they're coming. And if there was a plus one, we create a new item, right? We create a new person entry and mark them as a plus one against the invite. And honestly, this worked great. 
Some traditionalists feel that physical invites are better, but this way was instant, it was free, it didn't require sending dead tree on planes, it was still personalized, and critically, it allowed for us to collect data in a standardized way. People know when they've submitted it, and we know when they've submitted it. Um, we had a list of people who couldn't, couldn't make it, yep, and a list of invites that we used or not used. So as fools who, so that's the invite. Now, as fools who decided to DIY our own wedding, uh, we also serviced our own bars. Let me explain to you what that means. It means we designed a drinks menu with enough choice, bought in bulk at wholesale, then we rented the glassware and bar equipment, then we hired people for their time. And it sounds like a lot, and it was, but it also saved us like thousands thousands of pounds uh, versus what would otherwise be called a wet bar service, where you just buy it all in as a service and they come and do it all and then go away and leave no trace. This is an insights panel inside of Directus. You'll notice a bunch of panels on it. Um, what's nice is you can build new panels. So in the interest of time, I'll just quickly show you what we did here. I created this custom panel, which takes the RSVP yeses and the maybes, because we also had to plan for the, the ones who hadn't responded yet. Um, and uh, in the background, I created a collection for drinks. Um, this panel allows me to figure out how many drinks I think each person is going to have. Apparently, one every 45 minutes is the average, just so you know. Um, a breakdown of the options. This scrolls, there's more, and it tells me how many of each thing to buy. Just so you know, this is the unit in which you buy them. So, for example, soft drinks came in crates of 24, beers came in 12, a glass. Uh, a, a bottle of wine, we'll do five glasses, and so on and so forth. So well, it, was this over-engineered? Yeah, I should have done this in a spreadsheet, but it's in the past now, can't take it back. It's cool, I guess. Probably wouldn't do it again, if I'm honest. Now, uh, one guest told us that our wedding was the best communicated wedding they've ever been to, and they're damn right. And to make that happen, we built a notification system. Now, you may have noticed when, we, when people RSVP'd, we asked for a lead contacts phone number and email address. Now, the moment that was saved, we ran an automation using Directors Flows. It's this little automation builder here connected to the database. We went off to the Vonage Number Insights API to standardize phone numbers, because no one ever writes their phone number in the format you ask for it. So I anticipated that having worked at Vonage in the past. I know no one ever gives you their number in the right way. So we standardize it, save it back to the collection. Then we built a second flow for sending messages to our guests. Um, we it used a little dialogue. Um, it allowed us to select, hey, is this just going to the ceremony people? Uh, or is it just going to the reception people? Or is it going to both? Um, pick whether it's an SMS or an email or both, hit go, blast everyone a message. Fantastic, all in one place. Now, the really cool thing about this is the other approach would have been to just push people into external platforms and then handle messaging out from there. But because this is directly linked with the database, the moment someone RSVPs, they're included in the, in the distribution list. And as people were telling us closer to the time, look, I can't make it, we update their data in the database, and then they don't get further email blasts. Uh, now, we made a choice, we're nearing the end now, but we made a choice that every guest would be asked to do a COVID test the day before and certify that they were generally feeling well. As a side note, my guests were wicked. We had a huge drop off in that last 24 hours, but it meant that people who were sick stayed at home, so good going friends and family. Uh, we had several vulnerable guests that so was really important to us. You know, we're bringing people together, it's our responsibility and so on. So using that same Express and View application uh, that we did the invites with, a new button appeared on the invite and then we could notify people using the notification uh, system um, that got people 24 hours before within that, within that last day to tell us, yep, I've done a COVID test, it was negative, I'm feeling okay. And then what we did was we generated a security list for the person on security, because it was a London wedding, right? So security dudes there, uh, with a little check against everyone who had done the, the wellness certification. For those who didn't, as a mark, get them to do a COVID test on the door, we had a box of them, they hung outside for 15 minutes with a drink or whatever, and then they could come in. There was so much more we could have done. I mean, we had every person in a database. Everyone had a unique link. People have their own devices. We could have checked people in in a digital way, but that might have compromised the niceness of it and made it really feel like a tech conference. Um, 
We thought about building experiences where people validated themselves with QR codes based on their invite link, and there were like little personal experiences throughout. We could have had people share their photos using Directus's file management APIs and link those immediately with the guests who uploaded them. But hey, at least I can add wedding planner to my skill set, I guess. And no, I will not be helping you with yours. So that is a little bit of fun. I hope you found this interesting. And next time, no, but next time, uh, I'll hire a wedding planner. Thank you. Thank you.